need to make some tamarind syrup. Tamarind is a big seed pod. Um, I think we most of the tamarind we see here comes from Asia. I am not positive about that. Um, but we buy a big old, it comes in a big block and we whack it up into about uh, two tablespoon mm. hunks. This is the whole seed, but it's all chopped up. So there's uh, seed pieces and all kinds of stuff in there. So I'm gonna take one cup of water and one cup of sugar. How'd the house burn down? Did you, say, did you say a third of a cup? A third of a cup of sugar yeah. and my two tablespoons of, it looks like a little bit more than two tablespoons. And I think that time. tamarind, I think we have had to go to like a Asia, an Asian store to buy that. We've had trouble finding it from yeah. time to time. And you can totally find it with those kind of shops. And, um, you can also find it in a jar uh, as a tamarind paste, which oh, that I work. think worked just fine. Um, I, I was okay with it, but I, I use this in my barbecue sauce too, and I, I really like the, the seed. It's a little thicker. So how would you describe the, the flavor of tamarind? Tamarind is a very sour uh, fruit flavor. It's like a... Mm, like uzu or um, kind of lemony, but uh, it, it adds a lot of a lot of sourness. So we're in this syrup here. We we get the sour of it, but we're s using sugar as well, so that'll make it sweeter. So I'm going to let this boil, and I'm going to let it, it um, the tamarind all dissolve and get mixed in with the water and the sugar and um, then I'm going to strain it and we will have our tamarind syrup. All right, so our uh, stuff here is boiling right along. The tamarind is all incorporated. So I'm going to turn it off and strain it. Oh. <sighs> Tricky move. And that's pretty straightforward. I don't need all those tamarind chunks in my uh, final result here. I would make it a boat drink. A boat drink? With food in it. Oh, yeah. Well, we could do the same with the mole. But I think I'm going to strain that, too. So this is one of those things where you can actually get quite a bit more liquid out of it by pushing it through the strainer. spit out the seeds though. Oh, that's true. And the thing is, they're not whole seeds there. The seeds are all chopped up in here too. So you're not gonna be able to plant it either. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get this in a bottle and we'll see what we've got. And this is, this is going to be enough for lots of cocktails. Because you probably use a... And you can put some on your, put some on your ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever uses you Well, maybe you could make, make tamarind fire. ice cream. How's that? Well, you could. And yeah, see, this is about a cup, so... Oh, that will fit in that thing either. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Now, the thing about this is, of course, now it's hot. And if the idea is to use this for a cocktail, you don't want it to be hot. So you have to do this ahead as well. So you can do this while you're waiting for your garnish to uh, dehydrate. And then <laughs> this will be cooled and the garnish will be crisp all at the same time. <laughs> 